Hello, my name is Gene Allen. I'm the development guy here at Bison Software, and I'm going to demonstrate how to turn on file auditing in Windows. I'm using Windows Vista here, but Windows XP does the same thing in 2000 and 2003. It's all basically the same. How you get there is a little bit different. We're going to go, you've got to get to the administrative tools. Here in Windows, you can get, I mean, on Vista, you can get to them here in the control panel. And what you want is the local security policy. Uh, Windows File Auditing, it works for some people, but some people it doesn't because of the amount of noise it generates. But we're going to go ahead and turn it on here. And what you're looking for is this one right here, the Audit Object Access. And I know that doesn't seem to make a lot of sense, uh, but in Windows, everything is what they call an object. Uh, files are objects, registry keys are objects, folders are objects, all everything, users are objects. And what we want to do is we want to turn it on. Yeah, in Vista, you can come over to the explain and explain all this stuff. See file, folder, registry key, printer, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, we want to turn it on. Success. And we want to know when it's failed. So we want to record when somebody turns on a, uh, when they read a file, and when they're failed or denied access to read a file. All right. So now we've got that turned on. That's easy enough to do. Now we're going to open up a folder here. And we're going to turn it on. So we'll come here, and we'll go down to home designs, let's say. And we're going to properties, and we want to go to security, and we're going to have to click on the advanced button, and auditing is what we want. And we're going to, that pulls up this little screen here, we're going to talk about different kinds of auditing. Most people don't have different kinds of auditing for different people because it's too granular and gets messed up real fast, or not messed up, but it gets complicated. So we're just going to add it for everybody because we want to watch what everyone does. So there's the everyone group on Bystorm software. And we want to watch everything that they do. So we'll get reads and executes and attributes and fails and deletes and everything else. You can probably get rid of some things like reading permissions. I mean, who cares? Or writing extended attributes. I don't even know what that means. Or But reading extended attributes, who cares? Or reading attributes, don't care. Uh, but reading a writing, a pending data, things like that. So we're going to say, OK, OK. And now it's going to go through all 400,000 files in there and set the uh, SACL, in other words, the, the ability to audit on each file. And there it goes. It's pretty quick. So now we're done. So how do we do something? Let's open up a file. Let's explore it here. And there's a file. I'm just going to open it up with Notepad because it's, it's just a Notepad file to write. There we go. We read it, and we should now see it. Let's go over here to the event log, manage on my computer. I'm on, on the computer. Let's see, manage the computer. Let's see. We open up the event log, go to security logs, go to security. All auditing access from Windows goes to the event log. So here we go, and we changed a bunch of things. Auditing, auditing, auditing. Well, you can see the problem with file auditing. It generates millions and millions of records. Let's see if we can find the one we just need here. Let's just scroll through these a little bit. There we go. It's there. We got lucky. It's the very first one. Um, actually, no, that's not the right one because I opened it with Notepad, so that's not it. Uh, let's see. Well, anyway, this is how you turn it on, and it actually does record everything that happens to these files, and which is nice, uh, but you've got a, you've got problems in that it makes a bunch of noise. Uh, and that's one of the things. There are products, there's products out there in, on the market that you can, will suck in these millions, millions, and millions, and millions of records and put them in a database for you to query against. Another option is to actually use a product like FileSure, which is only interested in, uh, which you can set up so you're only interested in cuts down all this noise and has built-in stuff for you. But uh, there you go. That's how you turn it on, even though it seems somewhat unusable. It, it does work for all, a lot of people after you get it set up. Like, for instance, let's do this again. Let's open up this one. Uh, where's my notepad? Maybe now we will have better luck in getting just what we need. Uh, here we go. Let's try this. Refresh. Four. That's us, right? Fifteen hundred four, oh three, eight, 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 six. Let's see if we can find. And what file do we open? We open DH3A. Oh, there we go. Our first one. And that 
was the one closed. We really don't care about closed. What we want is Gene B. I read with no pet. See, I read the data. There we go. So we got lucky. It's the second one. But you also get this one, which it read the directory, read the data. And that one, it was closed. And there it is again. You can see that one of the problems that happens with each one of these is unique, but they look the same for the most part. There are slight differences. So that's the problem with Windows File Line. But if you're only auditing a few files, this works really well for you or will work just fine for you. Um, it is a problem if you try to protect more than just a few files or you have more than just a couple of users because it gets to be a real nightmare really fast because uh, you've got huge event logs. that And event logs truncate and they, they uh, overlap and it's not guaranteed unless it gets pulled out fast enough. Um, but that's how you set it up and I hope it works well for you.